Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205 here with another episode of Pimping the Pros. Uh, this is episode number six, so uh, we've been coming a long way now. Um, so I'm excited about the progress. And again, if you do want to have your poetry uh, featured on either one of our shows, Tuesday or Thursday night shows, make sure that you do send your audio file to pimping the pros at gmail.com. That's P I M P I N T H E P R O S E at gmail.com so make sure you hit me up and uh we can have your audio featured on uh pimping the pros uh, so make sure you check us out all right so you know how it goes man i've got a piece for uh today uh one that i'm kind of excited about one that's uh i think very important and it's not it's not real political or anything like that like some of my other pieces um but um it, it is pretty dope so i, I hope that you enjoy it it's kind of uh it is going to kind of be inspired uh, by my childhood, but not only my childhood, but um, others as well. So you'll get the gist of it as soon as we get to it. Uh, don't forget, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get an alert every time that we go uh, go live with any kind of content. All right. So again, thanks for checking us out. And this piece uh, for the week is called Kids. Kids. Laughter sprawled across skies, limitless with nuances of spring, starting again, never seeing the end result. Pressures from every angle appear invisible, inside globes of false snow in the South Pole. St. Nick sips milk and crunches cookies, sliding down chimneys. But wait, ain't no chimneys on Six Mile and Hoover, but six miles from the Hoover, damn, it's the same thing. I guess I'm just bitter and old, memories of playing tag in the streets fading finally into the rearview mirror, giving way to the road ahead. Move not in haste, enjoy the scenery, because once it's gone, it's gone forever. That's that piece, y'all. Yo, so, what made me think about that was, I mean, obviously me, like probably everybody else, when we was kids, we was just like in a rush to be adults, like in a rush to, to be grown, uh, in a rush to leave adolescence. But like this is kind of like a warning um, to to those kids that at this point, man, you just gotta really enjoy the scenery, man. Enjoy that, enjoy that time as a child. Enjoy that time without responsibility, because uh, once you become an adult, you definitely get what you ask for. <laughs> All right, and just to uh, uh, a couple of lines that I thought were significant, at least for me, anyway, uh, coming from where I came from, I think just the reference to. Um, the reference to uh, St. Nick, which is obviously uh, Santa Claus. Uh, but I think that reference is cool because as kids, obviously, our parents try to keep us uh, as ch as children. And they give us these myths. And even though some of those myths don't even fit our geography, like the fact where it says St. Nick sips milk and crunches cookies sliding down chimneys. But wait, ain't no chimneys on Six Mile and Hoover, but Six Miles from the Hoover damn it's the same thing all right so that basically is a reference to uh where i was born and raised six mile and hoover is on the east side of detroit um and we didn't have no fireplace so it wasn't no chimney so like how was santa claus sliding down our chimney but still we were fed with those myths and even though we were from different sides of town different sides of the country that's where that reference to six mile and hoover but six miles from the Hoover Dam, right? So that's all the way out in, uh, you know, in that Colorado area. And, um, I mean, not Colorado, but uh, the Vegas area, right outside of Vegas, Arizona, in that area. But even though you're in two different geographical locations, 
um, that idealism of being a kid still remains the same. And just the point where just when we were playing tag in the streets, like doing things, just playing around, uh, that vision simply fades into the rearview mirror. So it's kind of like driving away, giving me that impression of driving away. But at the same time, you just don't want to you don't want to drive away so fast. You want to take a chance to really enjoy that scenery of childhood. And that's what this piece uh, is about. And, of course, the end line is kind of the finality of it all, because once it's gone, it's gone forever. And that's like that's real life right there. So, um, yeah, that's a piece that I wrote a few years ago. And I just wanted to share that with the uh, with our audience. Hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget, you can leave comments about the uh, the pieces that are featured on each show. And also, don't forget, you can have your own feature. Uh, all you got to do is send us an audio file with your spoken word or uh, prose or poetry. Uh, all you got to do is send that audio file to pimpinthepros at gmail.com. That's P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R-O-S-E at gmail.com. And we will feature your work on either the Tuesday or the Thursday show. So again, man, thank everybody for checking us out. Be sure to go to eblockradio.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow us on Instagram at Pimpin' the Pros. All right, to the next time, man, you already know what it is. It's Pimpin' the Pros. And it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all.